Hello beautiful Brunei and the wonderful world of Moon Maniacs. Welcome back to another episode of The Real Show. I'm Delgo, I'm your host and with me is my co-host Zul. Uh, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? Uh, how many episodes have we been into this already? <laughs> mm, Five, six, oh, yeah. it doesn't matter. Well, we're shooting, where are we shooting today? We are in, we are in Ice Center. Eye Center has been kind enough to give us the space to u- to use it for the time being. Don't mind the background, you know. I <laughs> uh, you know it's uh, in- supposed to inspire minds. That's why yeah. it's in the Eye Center. <laughs> yeah, there's a dragon there. <laughs> so well, this episode, we are gonna go into a spoiler-filled review of the movie Alexander the Alexander, Alexander and, and the, the Very Bur- Bad Day. I'll just. Shorten it like that. Oh man, you're doing the because office. <laughs> no justice at all. My calling. Uh, okay, what is it? I can't. I can't remember. Seriously. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Yeah. Who would come up with such a title? So, uh, oh. Somebody smoking something when they came over. <laughs> but it's it's so long. I I think they're trying to be cute and trying to come up with this gimmick where it's such a long name and yet it's. It's difficult to remember, and no one can remember, so people would want to go and find out exactly what the name is, or try to well, remember it. The, the gimmick came from 1972, it was adapted from a book. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not really a gimmick. <laughs> but still, yes. they could have shortened it to yes. make it more um, memorable, and I, I think they should have. Because to me, I like, like well, how I said it just now, Alexander and the very bad day. That's that's all I can say. I can't remember the whole title, so it doesn't work for me. This kind of gimmick, I I didn't like. I don't like the title. Okay. Well, uh, what was your favorite part of the movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I thought the pacing for the entire movie was pretty good. It was quite consistent. Um, I also liked the way they brought in uh, from the beginning. They s- talked about Bumblebee, right? The, the pacifier, the pacifier, mm-hmm. Bumblebee. I initially thought that it was they were talking about the Transformers only action you, figure. Only you would come up because with that. <laughs> Bumblebee is supposed to be the lovable character in the movies, and and you know as the movie progressed, they talked about Bumblebee again, and immediately True. it brought me back to Transformers character, where like they can't do without Bumblebee, and Bumblebee is the star of Transformers. Well, one of them, but... I, I, I like how you went there. <laughs> 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 no, not many people would. I, I don't know how you went from Disney to, <laughs> to Bumblebee. <laughs> Alright, right. Uh, my favorite part of the movie? It's been a while since I've seen a feel-good movie. Yeah. Yeah, I think the last feel-good movie I watched was um, the, the Pacifier. The Pacifier? That's a Disney one as well. Yeah, that's a Disney one. With well. The Rock. The ro- Is it The Rock? Vin Diesel. Vin- oh, Vin Diesel. No, no, you're thinking about... Um, you're thinking about the what's it called the something breaker was it the, the tooth fairy the, no, 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 no not tooth fairy there's the other one um, oh really? my goodness uh, he's the um, he's the football player and he finds out about his daughter no. ah escape from my but it's okay okay never mind yeah, but it's been a while since I've seen a good uh, feel good movie this is a good one um, oh, okay I won't say it's a good one I mean it's refreshing right you know to see to watch something like that compared mm. to the old the uh, action movies right been watching. and this is a very wholesome very uh a family oriented and the whole family can go and watch it together and we'll have a good time laughing at the movie one thing's for sure this is better than uh what hunger games <laughs> <laughs> a lot better than mocking jay that's for sure so sorry Okay. Uh, hardcore fans, you know, I gotta say this is a lot better. Spend your money on this movie than the other one. That's why I think you <laughs> like this movie more than I did. Yeah, yeah okay, fine. Yeah. Um, I, there, there were very little laugh out loud moments for me. There was only one that I can remember. And off the top of my head, I, I, I thought about it. I can't remember what part of the movie that I laughed out loud. I did, but I just can't remember. In except. Case- in case you didn't know, we're into the bad parts of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> because I ran out of good things to say. So uh, yeah, it was it was there was only one scene like when when the the son the the elder son kind of high fived the uh, the banner and brought down two of the oh, the, 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 sh- the the trophy uh, cases. trophy case yeah, yeah. Uh, that that caught me off guard and I I, I kind of like that but uh, yeah not many laughable laugh out loud moments. Uh, 
Um, bad moments for me. Let me see. I, I the, the thing about Steve Carell I don't like is that he he tries too hard. I think in his movies he didn't try hard I enough. Know. I think <laughs> that's why I wasn't laughing so much. Um, I mean, like you know, I'm, I'm comparing him. I'm comparing this movie to a favorite movie that he made, which right. was um, Crazy Stupid Love. Oh, right? but yeah. again, again, that, I mean, that's my genre. That's my that movie, like chick flicks and whatnot, right? Yeah, well, it's not really a chick flick, right? It's another feel good movie as well. But whatever, you know what I mean? Um, that's more of an adult. That's an R rated R for movie. There were no, there was nothing there. Or oh, whatever, love. Like, I mean, you know, that was crazy stupid love was here, and this movie's done here. Right. So you know, like um, I expected more from uh, Steve Carell. Jennifer Garner should have gotten a bit more. Um, camera time, what well, she did, but her story was really bland. Yeah, because all of because there are so many characters that they they split them equally, which is also mm, you can argue it's a good thing that that's where I said the pacing was quite consistent. But the bad thing would be that there's not enough focus on the two main stars, which were were the big names of the movie, and they just didn't have um, enough screen time. So that's that's why the. The, the star power of the cast was not as evident. Not, not as powerful as uh, no. we thought it was. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. But uh, uh, I, I gotta say that girl was pretty good. Uh, Which girl? Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne. Uh, yeah. The prom chick. Yeah. <laughs> prom and and that, that was the, uh, the re- only relationship that I was curious and interested throughout to see how it played out. Okay. Yeah, but for the rest, like um, Steve Carell's character and Jennifer Garner's character, when in the pivotal scenes that they had, where they were trying to save their their jobs, and it felt very cliche. It felt very cliche. Uh, the way it was written, the way it was shot, it was directed. It was it was so easy, so lazy, to Wait. the way it fell apart. Let, let me let me let me just step back before we get into the final thing, right? I think what I found was a bit weird was the whole how that the typo in the book changed everything. Yeah, yeah. That was just how can you get some? How can you get something like my my brother likes to jump over, but likes to take a jump take over. A jump yeah, over, how yeah. can they change the typo from a J to a D? That's yeah. just crazy. I mean, you know, you gotta you gotta be really really you know smoking something to <laughs> to come up with such a typo <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? If that is adapted from the book, then okay, they can't really... Yeah, uh, fine. No, yeah. actually, no. If you're making a movie, you got to change things in order to yes, fit yes, the yes, movie. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. That's what you said with the past two things. You <laughs> have to. Okay. Yeah. So your your points? Let's compare it. I mean, I know Rotten, Rotten Tomato gave it 62%. Mm-hmm. Um, IMDb gave it 6.5. Yes. So what would you give? I'm going to go with 5.5. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no way to do it. Yeah. Um, okay, five point five. Yeah. What is your score? Um, the cast was alright. Yeah. Storyline was alright. Mm. It's a bit. Uh, it's a bit slow, right? So uh, I'll say I'll give it a maybe five or six. Six left. Be nice. Give it six. <laughs> <laughs> you give it a five point five. You know, I gotta be a good guy someday, right? So I'll give it a six. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's so, it. Uh, yep. That's it. Uh, catch us on our. Next review? Yep. Uh, well, the next review we're going to do would be on The Hobbit. It's either The Hobbit or Gone Girl. Ah. Uh, or both. Or both. Or both. Yeah, let's see yeah. which one comes out. Yeah. Or, or if they both come out yeah. the same time. Or Roroni. Oh, yeah. Himura. I don't want to call him Roroni. It sounds sound like a jabroni saying such a thing. <laughs> uh, this is the Samurai X. Yeah, the, the, part the, final, yeah, yeah, the final, final one. Yeah. Part. Final installment. Yeah. yeah. So, so catch us for that. Yeah. You can email us, contact us at the bottom of the screen, follow us, subscribe to us. If you have any questions, feel free to send it to us and then we'll address them on the show. Yeah, uh, leave us comments on our IG on yeah, whatever you see down there. Right. Alright, keep it real guys. See ya.